The National Guard is preparing to bring on more teams to try and help speed up the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. Now, since the vaccine rollout began, North Carolina has ranked among the slowest states to administer shots to people. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, live in Raleigh. Michael, the Guard is trying to do this while also getting ready for possible armed protests in Raleigh and Washington. Right, as they get ready to come here to downtown Raleigh for security, I, I asked how that's going to impact the work they're doing with the vaccine rollout. They've already sent teams to a couple locations in the state to work on that, but they're looking to hear from local communities to figure out where to go next. Amid the slow rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine, National Guard teams are on the ground trying to pick up the pace. The Guard posted this video of the work they're doing in Winston-Salem. Major Matthew Boyle says two teams are there, while two more are in Elizabeth City in the east. He says the Guard is prepared to increase that to 18 teams, but they need to hear from communities that need them. Once we get a demand signal, we have the personnel that's trained in, in giving vaccines, just like any other medical provider that can go and support that. North Carolina has thousands of doses waiting to go into people's arms. The latest data from the CDC shows more than 850,000 doses have been distributed to North Carolina, but only about 266,000 of those have been administered to people. That's 31%. Nationally, just over 36% of shots sent out have actually gone into people. Governor Roy Cooper said Thursday he's expanding the pool of eligible people, allowing anyone over 65 and healthcare workers to get vaccinated, following updated guidance from the federal government. And we've continued to ask health departments and hospitals to ask us for the help. Cooper mobilized the National Guard last week to help. So far, Major Boyle says they've done over 4,000 vaccinations. Now the governor is also calling on the Guard to work with police ahead of possible armed protests in Raleigh and D.C. surrounding the inauguration. By mobilizing these hundreds of Guardsmen, will that have any impact on the work you all are doing to help with the vaccine distribution? That team is completely you know, separate from this uh, response but to, local, to assist local law enforcement, so it's not going to have any impact at all. More than 500 National Guardsmen will be here in Raleigh and in Washington, D.C. over the next several days. Coming up new at 6, I'm going to have a closer look at what they're doing and how they're getting ready for this. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.